Hey guys, Adam with Coleman's RV. As you guys know, we spend a lot of uh, time pulling boats around the country. Um, everybody does. Here's one little tip that'll help turn a bad situation into a not so bad situation. Not everybody carries a big floor drack around in the back of their truck, back of their van, vehicle, SUV, whatever they're towing with. So a lot of times, if you ever wake up one time, say you're whether you're at a hotel, you're at a lodge, a resort somewhere, you're just getting done with vacation, you pull your boat, you walk up to your boat trailer and notice you got a flat tire. Here's a little tip that you can use. If you don't have a jack or you don't feel comfortable using a jack, what you can do is you'll notice we have just a regular parking curb right here. I'm at a 90 degree angle against this parking curb. What you can actually do is get backed right up to it. Leave yourself a little bit of room just to gain momentum. Once I get into the vehicle, I can put it in reverse and pull it up on that curb. Now one little aspect of this, I always tell people, lock your emergency brake once you get the boat up there. Back on the curb, a little, a little tip for you. When you back onto the curb, you want to make sure that the tire is actually touching the concrete. Unfortunately, if you go too far back, that, that tire is going to sink lower and that tire is not completely going to be able to free spin. But as you'll notice now, everything's completely free spinning. Uh, real nice and easy to be able to get that tire off, get the new one on, and you can get rolling on down the road. Also make sure when you go back off the curb, you just want to make sure and take it slow. Again, I always recommend anytime you're up in this position, always make sure that you go ahead and lock that parking brake up. Between my 